I'm sorry. Uh, the fourth thing that I wanted to tell you about, I'm telling you seven ways to get clear. The clearer you are, the faster you manifest. Uh, I've written about this in my book, Zero Limits. And it's the clearing mantra that Dr. Hulen taught me that I taught everybody who read the book. Now, have you read Zero Limits? How many have read Zero Limits? A few of you have not. Strongly recommended you read it. Not because I wrote it, because it's one of the most mind-stretching, inspiring stories you will ever read. A few years ago, and I'll tell you very briefly about it, a few years ago, I guess six years ago at this point, I had heard the story of this therapist who helped heal an entire ward of mentally ill criminals. And he did it without personally seeing each one of them. And he used some sort of Hawaiian healing technique, which I didn't know at the time, to influence them. And remember, the first time I heard it, I dismissed it. I thought he healed them, he didn't see them, they're mentally ill criminals, you know, confined in a Hawaii State Hospital. It's not true. I thought it was an urban legend. But I heard it a couple more times and I thought I should at least look into this. And then when I found out it was true, I thought somebody needs to tell the story. And I convinced Dr. Hulen, who is the therapist, to let me be the stenographer for this, and he and I wrote Zero Limits. At the heart of Zero Limits is a clearing technique. Basically, it's four phrases. I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. That he is saying to what I'm gonna call God. You can call it the divine. But it is a request, it is a petition, it is a cleaning, it is a prayer, it is a mantra, it is a psalm, it is a song. It's all of these different things. What he was doing in the mental hospital is that he would see people that were obviously troubled. These were, these were violent folks. I mean, they were shackled, they were sedated. He said that when you would go down the hospital ward, you would walk sideways with your back against the wall because you didn't want to be attacked. And so what he did was instead of working directly one-on-one -on -one with, with each person, he noticed what the person brought up in him, anger, rage, embarrassment, sadness, confusion, whatever was brought up in him, that's the feeling he wanted to clear. And that's what he went to the divine with and basically was saying, I don't know where this came from. I'm sorry for whatever I might have done or my ancestors might have done to bring this into reality. Please forgive me for being unconscious to the creation of this. Thank you for cleaning this, for clearing this, and always ending with I love you, which is a return to the state of divinity, love, purity, unconditional acceptance. This technique all by itself is one of the most powerful ones I've ever come across, yet at the same time, it's so simplistic. People are saying, really, four lines, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, I love you, that's it? Yes, that's it. I do it 24 hours a day, even while I'm sleeping now, because it's, on, it's my automatic tape. It's going on in my head. It's going on right now, because I want to be clear as I talk to all of you. That's why occasionally I tell you these stories I didn't even plan on telling you, is that I want to be clear in this moment. Inspiration just kind of bubbles up. I just share it and see where it goes. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I have seen, well, here's a story that just shows up. There's a woman who works uh, at a prison as a volunteer in a prison. And one time she was there and she was teaching a group of people. She called it meditation, but she said, I was teaching them zero limits. I was teaching them how to say to themselves, to their connection to God, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, over and over again. A riot broke out in the prison. And every room, every guard, everything was in chaos, except the room that was doing zero limits. And the warden of the place, who was going around trying to find some way to control this or stop this, opens the door and here are these group of meditators and he's he stops and he looks and he goes whatever you're doing just keep doing it <laughs> and leaves i had a phone call i don't know eight months ago from a fellow who had lost uh, his twin brother and this was a doctor this was a doctor and he was calling me he had read zero limits he called to me he was he was grieving he was hurting he was confused and he used zero limits to find his inner peace. And he was calling to thank. I get stories all the time. I hear letters all the time. I hear from people all the time in one way or another. Zero limits is a very simple approach to one of the clearing techniques so that the clearer you are, the faster you manifest. 
And I do it all the time. Again, I'm doing it now. I do it when I'm driving. I do it when I'm writing. I'm doing it when I'm reading. I'm doing it when I'm playing music. I'm doing it. I'm writing songs even about it. Um, I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. That's one of the techniques. Hmm. It's called Ho'oponopono in the Hawaiian tradition. And I wasn't even going to tell you that because now you have to write it down. And <laughs> How do you spell it? ho o po no po no Every syllable gets written. But you don't need to know that. If you know zero limits and just say the phrases, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, you're on the way. And then the word Hawaii, Ha means the breath of life. Y means the water of life. And E means the infinite in you. So when you say Hawaii, it is also a cleaning process that releases toxic memories in the subconscious. And then divinity takes the subconscious and um, back to zero, and then the subconscious becomes an enlightened. What's the simple message? The simple message is what um, Shakespeare says, to thine own self be true. So as long as you are true to yourself, then you will notice everybody around you is true to, true to themselves. But if you're not, if you're stuck in memory, that is, if you're stuck in toxic errors, moaning, groaning, being angry, being um, despondent, then, then the idea is you can let that go. It's just data playing in the subconscious. And it's very important if you want to be free to get to the cleaning, and the cleaning is, I love you, thank you, I'm sorry, please forgive me. The breathing is the same thing, the ice blue is the same thing, drinking the water, the soul water is the same thing. So the, ultimately, your only task in life is to clean. And what is the purpose of life? To, be, to take you back to that void state so that you can be enlightened. Please forgive me. And thank 
Please forgive me. 